All right, good morning, YouTube. This is Chris with BuiltBox.info. And today I am going to show y'all a little something special that's a big piece of history of the billet box. This is a Rev3 brass flipper. More on that in a minute, but this is a 2015 model. Um, just a little history. First of all, I don't cover the Rev3 because I really wasn't around during, I mean, I was around during the Rev3, but I never, I never got into billet boxes until the Rev4. So I don't know a whole lot about Rev3s. So I don't cover them on my website because I don't know anything about them other than a little bit of the history. And I'll cover just a tad bit of that. To this is, we're in 2022 now. And just to let you know, this is the 10 year anniversary this year of the billet box in general, the prototype of the rev one billet box, which is very similar to the, to the, uh, rev threes, uh, was, was shown off on ECF back in, uh, December of 2012, um, in 2013, February, they came out with the Rev 1.1 and they actually sold some of them for like 179 bucks. And then not too far after that, uh, later in that 2013, they uh, came out with the Rev 2 and then the Rev 3 later that year, uh, September 2013, in fact, or no, excuse me. Uh, yeah, 2013, the Rev 3 was introduced and most of what you'll see of a Rev 3, like this one here, and the brass flipper there is a rev 3a and uh basically different things were done to it uh including uh, in 2014 they started doing the um the anodizing that you got familiar with all the way up until 2021 with the cerakote rev force so basically um they have come out with two different versions of what this is called the, the brass flipper. Uh, there's one in 2013 that probably looks just like this one. Uh, very so in 2013, when they made the brass flipper, there was only a raw aluminum rev rev three. And then they made 27 of the rev three brass flippers. And the whole thing about around the brass flipper, was basically people were were um flipping these things they were buying them for 200 something bucks and turn around and sell them for a thousand so uh dd on ecf said you know if people are going to flip it we might as well you know get some of the profit he said something to the effect that uh um that that the he, he wanted to lessen the desirability of the Rev 3 standard versions. So, um, matter of fact, here's a quote. Uh, Doug Nino does seem to care that Flipper was making a buck. Blah, blah, blah. He was, blah, blah, blah. let's keep it. Blah. Their idea was to offer something that would help to prevent Flippers from buying their regular boxes with them buying these instead. Uh, in 2013 apparently the brass flipper cost uh 500 bucks um the 2015 version were like 750 and there's a lot more information i could find about the rev or the um the 2015 rev 3 brass flipper uh they actually made a post that said first off the flipper is not a consumer product it is more it is more an exotic subspecies of unicorn it's not practical nor affordable in the slightest to make. The flipper is our billet box machine from a four pound block of 464 naval brass. We did a run of 27 of these back in 2013 as a response to people buying our regular boxes for no other reason than to flip them. We hoped that introducing a rare type box would lessen the desirability of our regular product. This first run showed us how labor intensive these really were to build and we had no intentions of doing it again. But lots of people kept asking. We recently caved. Despite the price tag, these are a wash for us. The raw stock is, is astronomically expensive. They take two times the machine to cut and over 20 times the handwork to fit and finish. To be blunt, they suck and we hate them. This run is smaller than the first. There are only 26. So basically, um, 
according to what I was able to find, there's 27 of the brass flippers from 2013 and 26 from 2015. And why do I have this right now? That's, that's a good question. I have a good friend named Austin that knows that I'm getting a special billet box made of brass, uh, made by billet box vapor themselves as a gift to me. And he wanted me to be able to compare them. So I figured I'd do this video now, just kind of showing what it is. And then when I get this special device that I'm going to be getting, which by the way, currently to this day, official billet box vapor made brass boxes. There's the Rev 3A 2004, uh, 13s, the Rev uh, 3A 2015s, which I'm holding here. And there is one person that has a Rev 4. That's it. And eventually I might have a Rev 4 brass in my hand as well. So, but in a blog post back in 2015, um, DD lists the pros and cons of brass flipper. I thought this is funny, so I'll read that to you as well. Um, let's only take a look at the cons though, because they far outweighed the pros. It is raw brass only coated with a layer of wax before getting wrapped up. It'll age and patina just as any other material containing copper. It costs way too much to exist. It's a shiny fingerprint magnet, and this is very true. You can't keep those things shined up. It will scratch easy, easier, easily. It's not a good dancer. It's okay, but not great. It's more malleable than aluminum and less resilient to drop impact. It is heavy, over 13 ounces without a battery and 15 ounces all set up. So, I mean, it's really cool to have, but they are very heavy. And we'll jump right in and show you what I'm talking about about that. This is very heavy. So, first of all, y'all are familiar with a standard Rev4 billet box. Oh, am I going to be able to fit this in the screen? Uh, this, I went ahead and took out the battery in the Boro. And this is 134 grams. Just pretty much almost naked, naked, naked. You know, we got a drip tip and a, well, the switch shouldn't add anything to it. So 134 grams on the Rev4. And then this uh, Rev3, which is unused, never been fired, collector's piece for me, has a boro in it, but nothing else. And it's 143 grams, 142 grams. So the brass flipper with just a boro, no battery. is 359.60 grams so like more than double the weight of the aluminum version so uh but anyway if you were if you brought this video up and wanted a a little um tutorial on a rev3 that's not what you're going to get i'm just going to show you you got carbon fiber on the front and that's the same thing with the uh rev3 aluminum and both of these have a uh a pow i think this is a power button or uh, no this may be abalone but they both have the same button and uh this drip tip i believe is jmk this did not come with it nor do the regular rev3s on the inside it's pretty much the same, except for obviously this is made of 464 naval brass rather than aluminum. So there's a little look on the inside there. They both still take those little bitty uh, batteries that are apparently impossible to find now. Um, difference between the panel on the inside is you've got the the flipper, the you know their flipper, which was you know originally done by billet box vapor and uh, take um i don't want to say taken but adopted by another company but 464 naval brass bb flipper thing and robot made in usa and then on a standard rev 3a you've just got the bb rev 3a nothing here and the same hand and robot made in the usa 2000 this is a 2014 3a so but yeah, this is the 
Rev 3 brass flipper, and it is a stunning piece. I wouldn't mind having this for my collection, but I have to give this back to its owner at some point. So next time you'll see it will be in a video comparing it to another brass product. So but anyway, just a quick short video to show what the brass flipper is. Uh, so doing the math, there should be about 26 plus 27, what's that, 53 of these in existence. Now, how, how many are actually floating around these days and not destroyed or, you know, you know, never to be found again, who knows. But you don't see them pop up very often, and this one is a pretty nice looking piece. Uh, it could probably be, probably be shined up pretty good. Uh, I'm not going to bother doing that because it's not mine to uh, put any compounds on to get it shined up. But very good looking piece. And that alone is worth the price of admission. So anyway, I'm Chris, Billet Box Info, and uh, that's what we got here. Thanks for watching.